Hey everybody, back with a new episode of I May Destroy You. Last episode was really tough on Arabella. Uh, you know, it started out strong with her speech about Bob in the group, but after she heard that her rape investigation um, became inactive because they didn't have any more leads, was really, um, really tough on her. And it, it made her act really irrationally of uh, flying out to, or going to Italy to see Biagio, who was not prepared to see her. And she definitely didn't act in the right way at all. And, but he didn't either. It was just a really terrible situation. Uh, what? So much so that she walked into the ocean. Um, fully went under, but I think she popped her head back up. So I don't think it was like a suicide attempt or anything like that. But she's really not in a good place. And Kwame has been so wrecked by his sexual assault that he is, you know, wanting to, you know, date women. It uh, did not go well either because who he went on a date with was terrible and made him feel terrible. And she was just a walking red flag. So I'm hoping he can come out of this in a better place. I don't know. He was back on, you know, the app. So we'll see where both of them are at going into this next episode, but we've only got four left. So I'm excited to see how they're going to start wrapping this up. So let's get into it. Oh my goodness. Night. Okay, Halloween. Halloween, my favorite holiday for sure. Ugh. Oh, this is dicey. He's terrible. So, um, the readings have come back from the CT scan. As you know, you can't give peace unless you have peace. I have a CT scan to check in with the mind. Her online persona and her real life are back in the room. Sorry. so starkly uh, different. So yes, uh, you will need to monitor that. What? The blood pressure. Oh. At an elevated risk due to your being of Afro-Caribbean origin. Um, are there any new stories? That was racial ignorance. I'm not Afro-Caribbean. I'm actually African. She's right. There's still a lot of medical racism. Just vapes now, Oh. What? Yeah, vaping counts. Well, vaping isn't... Uh, do you agree that vaping is better than smoking? Well, yes. Then but... that's all we need to say about it. Stressful, do you confirm? Yeah. So why would you tell her to stop vaping if it doesn't take a professional to see that the stress from the phone will kill her faster than any puff of nicotine never will? Some people don't want to engage the minute you try to talk about some real shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot That's just so on right. the street. Some people they don't want to dig too deep. Oh, it's my pleasure. Make sure you tell your friends to follow me and make me more powerful. Oh my god. Of course, you're my shiro, consoler of the week, and avenger of the bad men. Oi, bells! Yeah, wait, oh wait, my go. She seems fine, but she's so not fine. Uh, we said no phones. Gosh, it was like so fun. The POC paint and wine movement. Is it even a movement? To know what you saying. It's just an activity. Art, creativity, peace. It's what I've done so far. Okay, peace and love, buddy. I hope you pulled your dick out. <laughs> I was after us, actually. We were just chilling, and it really made me think. What are people saying in your absence? Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so she didn't know you were. She, she didn't know your gaze were after. You stuck your dick in there and you stuck the load up. I don't know. I think I would be at least a little bit like. So uh -oh. I feel terrible about it, but she kind of forced me. So. Terry, as someone who is not experienced, right? Oh. You should be listening and not concluding conversations. Oh, y'all don't fight. There's no vaping in the. Bella. <laughs> <laughs> Not like Terry's pumpkin. It sounds like you're blaming her. Are you, are you blaming her? I'm not. Of course, Bella, she's not the one to defend. I agree. 
because that'd be like telling the truth and it's much better to just hide that under the surface and never acknowledge that you are hiding something from a woman who's let you into her bedroom when you locked him in the room with jamal what was that Ooh. oh what, uh, so, what, did I, what did i do samson's friend you locked him in with wow he's here so i guess that means you don't need to speak for him which is great so you can just shut up and fuck off guys no if you paint things to make it look like you're a victim and i'll find out that isn't entirely the case <laughs> Bella. It's the question who you are don't it's just look in the mirror you know what i mean it's oh god she's just really lashing out Oh my god, those wings are amazing. Thank you, Holden. She's getting all these positive affirmations online. It's really affecting her personal life. But sadly, this is all true. I shouldn't be scared that as I walk this street right now, at any moment, a man could drag me into messages. a dark alley and uh -huh. attack me. Fuck this shit. No, I will not show you my fuckings. Hashtag, Dr. the cops. That's the new guy, yeah? If anyone's got okay, this, be careful. Own, this is dangerous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's really affected you, hasn't it? I never thought Kwame would turn out to be this kind of person, do you know what I mean? Because he's my friend and I don't keep that kind of shit around me. Don't Look do my this. Facebook and my Instagram and my job is to speak the truth. I have to speak the truth. No matter who to, I can't be complicit. Do you can be so compassionate, she... though. What was it like? Opening them. And I didn't open them, I just put them under the bed. And they're still there now. Yeah, but everything is under my bed. <laughs> Why is she talking to someone? For Arabella. And then there's a line. A hard surface of the bed. Uh, dangerous things dark things, anything that contradicts or threatens your perceived reality. Go here. In the stages of recovery, if we can't process and understand them, we can't process and understand ourselves. It's really good advice. Sometimes it has to be done. I did the same. this stuff how many weeks was I can't remember you were pregnant I just went and done it and then I forgot I never really thought about it again doing what we have to do doesn't always feel good does it if you felt good, I would be even more horrified. When you paint things to make it look as if you're just the victim and I find out that isn't the case, it really makes me question who you are. Oh, Terry. He wasn't sure if you're okay with him coming in. Oh. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I don't even think about it. No, fuck that shit, please just forget about it. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Oh, Terry's self-care train is making me want to jump in front of him. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go to this location. <laughs> I'm gonna get back watching TV. I do TV. Well, because I'm so that way. Think well, mate. Thanks, man. Oh, he's really sweet.
Oh, you went to the air? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yes. Okay, so this was a really tough episode to watch. But really, really good. Her, Arabella, I really like how they had the the angel and the demon costumes uh, representing the divide here of seeing things in a in a very black and white way. The way Arabella was doing so, and the way social media was kind of pushing her toward uh, making her push away her best of friends. Um, because they didn't pass a, a purity test in her mind that she had created. I really like how they did that. And uh, it makes complete sense for where she's at. The last episode we saw, that was a month ago. So, of course, she's not in the best place either. And especially coming off of something that she knows she wasn't in the right on completely. How she acted. Wanting to push that down and um, look outward at what other people aren't doing um, exactly right. And I don't know if I'm exactly where Arabella is on how Kwame handled that situation. If if Arabella knew at all that girl, I don't think she would have been so defensive of what happened. But even if she'd been not horrible like she was. I, I don't know if uh, it's a really gray area whether or not someone should have to say their what their sexuality is in a casual hookup environment. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that completely. I don't, I don't know if I consider what Kwame did completely in the wrong. Um, but that's kind of what was in focus here, like pushing every issue into good or bad. Uh, and you know, she was trying to push them away and, uh, making Kwame look like a bad person without trying to deal with the fact that she put him in a, in a really bad situation when she locked him into that room, which she had no ill intent either. She shouldn't be that hard on herself uh so she shouldn't you know it, it's just a it's just a complicated situation and, and there's nuance there and i'm really glad she went to talk to somebody it really helped her kind of sort everything out and she deleted social media which is the right move for her i think she was getting a lot of followers a lot of information and all over there all over the place all across the spectrum, like people supporting her, people calling her out, like it's a lot. And I, I deleted my social media uh, like a year or so ago. I just, it's too much. Uh, and it really does kind of like program your brain to uh, think certain ways. And, uh, I think she was losing a little bit of herself and, uh, in, in an emotional sense of uh, not being compassionate toward her friends and understanding the nuances of those situations and also not dealing with the stuff that she had been pushing down, like uh, the metaphor of everything being under her bed, the repression that she had done. Like we didn't even know about her pregnancy and abortion and she barely like she like oh I was like oh yeah this happened because it's something I repressed so far down that I don't think about it at all. But those kind of things that you push down, they affect your actions whether you realize it or not. Your subconscious, you know, kind of does what it what it does to deal with that kind of stuff. So that was really fascinating to watch, and I'm glad she pulled everything out from under her bed and is dealing with everything. I, I don't know how I feel about her going to eat the ego bar. Ego death. Um, 
you know, there was a lot of talk of doxing in this episode, and that can be really dangerous on both sides. So I, I don't know what she plans to do going forward. I mean, I'm glad Terry was there with her. And I'm glad Terry and Kwame and Arabella all kind of made up and understood that they're on each other's sides and apologized where they needed to. And they're in a good place now, I think. Um, maybe going forward, Arabella can be in a, in a, at a better place because of the positive steps she took in this episode. But we'll see. I, I don't know where... They're taking the story with her going back to that place. So I'm, I'm really excited to find out. Um, I really like this episode a lot. It was difficult. I, I don't like seeing that friend group at odds with each other. I love them so much. And you know, we've seen how good friends they are. And yeah, that was tough. Especially on a Halloween episode, which my favorite is. <laughs> the costumes, though, were so fun. So nice. So Arabella's look, I was living. Uh, but yeah, she was really going through it. Um, but yeah, really good episode. And I'm excited to see how they're going to close out the show with three more episodes to go. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.